Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. I am The Six Machine. We are here, as you can see, with the brand new release of Space Marine 2. I played the first one a very long time ago on this channel, but I think I've deleted the videos since then. But I am super, super hyped for this. Um, I got the early access, but I haven't had the chance to play it yet. Um, so I'm really hyped to get into it. It looks amazing. It looks kind of fast-paced, action-packed, frantic gameplay, which is just what I always want from a Warhammer game. So we're not going to waste any more time. I want to get straight into it and kind of get into the story because I really want to get to grips with it. I've heard the story is sort of okay, like it's passable and decent, but nothing like going to blow your mind. But the combat is apparently just top notch. So let's dive right into it. Um, we'll leave the helmet off just because I normally wouldn't, but whatever, we'll start. I'm also on all high settings. Uh, there were a few ultra settings that I had to turn down. I did jump in very quickly just to see how it ran before I started recording. Um, my PC is pretty good, but it's a couple of years old now. So let's start the game. We're going to go in for normal just because I'm not very good at video games. So it presents a fair gameplay challenge. Enemies are moderately aggressive and resources need to be managed wisely. So let's get to, let's get started. In the 41st millennium, humanity stands on the brink of annihilation. Oh, I'm playing on controller as well, by the way, just so you know. The galaxy-spanning Imperium of Man is beset on all sides by hostile aliens and threatened from within by traitors and heretics. It is an age of constant war, a new dark age in which enlightenment is replaced by superstition, rhetoric and blind prayer. To live in such times is to be one amongst untold billions, existing in the cruelest and bloodiest regime imaginable. The most powerful and dreaded of the Imperium's defenders are the Space Marines. Bioengineered superhuman warriors, they are humanity's last bastion against the Terror. There is no time for peace, no respite, no forgiveness. Sounds good to me. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. I'm so hyped for this. I'm so hyped. Once again, apologies for the box in the background. As everyone knows, I am moving, so... Kataku. Sector. I'm not going to say that. Imperial held residious system. Here come the Tyranids! <laughs> nice. I am a fan. Already a fan. Guard looking cool. I'm so giddy about this. I'm so giddy. Okay, what do we got? Much may just nozick. Okay, so the Admech are involved. What's Project Aurora? Okay. Liking this already? That's quite cool. I love seeing like the, the Imperium kind of, you know, systems and how it all works. Oh, we got the Death Watch. Deploy viral incendiary bomb. This is cool. Oh, they look so good.
Oh. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be he'll be fine, I'm sure. Is that who we're playing? Because obviously you play as Titus, but Kadaku. Okay, so I'm guessing this is like our intro. Outskirts of the orbital launcher facility, day two of the Tyranid invasion. Nice. Team leader to squad. Box check. Repeat. Kill team leader to squad. Confirm Vox contact. Okay, I'm just going to uh, setting. I just want to turn on subtitles. Subtitles on. Oh, there's also chainsaw attack. Okay, cool. So. Damn it. Okay, so that's how you run. I'm just getting used to the controls. Um, also, as I said, I've got this all on high. My frame rate currently is sitting at around 60 to 70, depending on where I look. So it runs fairly well. I mean, as I said, I've got a fairly new computer. I've got a 3070 or a 3080. I can't remember which. Um, press. Lost contact with brother. Approaching orbital launcher facility. Well secured. Hellstrom, hold up. I'm moving to the crash site. Do you read? Locate the crash death watch craft. Okay. Negative. No contact since the crash. Hold on. I'm here, damn it. Kelstras, you have command. What are your orders? <clears throat> Proceed as planned. This looks great. Watch the virus bomb into the stratosphere. Detonate it. And watch the Tyranids die. A sight I will greatly enjoy. Bullfire is obviously a space wolf. All right, so let's have a look at us very quickly. So obviously we've got the Death Watch uh, silver um, left pauldron. Don't have the regular chapter other pauldron showing. So I'm wondering if this is Titus and he's like a black shield or something. Is that was that? I don't. I can't remember. I haven't been keeping up with the law of Titus, so I don't know if that was known. But that would kind of be my guess. Because we've got the blue chainsword. So maybe that's how he's keeping his Ultramarines lineage. Uh, also, just to clarify as well, before we go any further. Um, I am going to be playing through this all in one unedited video. Like the entire gameplay and putting that up without my face or commentary. Uh, but I wanted to do this with me on webcam and just talking as we go through it. Because I'm really hyped for it. But if you don't want to see me or hear my voice, there will be a full length video of the entire game with no commentary uh, at some point in the future. I don't know when, when I have the time to record a full eight hour game or however long this is. Okay. This looks so good though. Like the, the game looks so good and it runs really well considering. I'm just trying to like take in all the um, the visuals. So apologies, I'm not going like as fast as maybe you would like. But so R1. Oh, as I said, yeah, playing on controller because it's just so much easier. Ah, oh, damage depletes armor. Regenerates after a small delay. Health can be stored by dealing damage. Okay. Can we... No. As I said, I've heard that the, like, the, the campaign is kind of just acceptable. Like it's, it's passable for like a, a game. But it's not going to blow your mind. But the combat, I think, is meant to be really, really good, so... Heavy attacks. Hold R1 to finish a chainsword combo with a heavy attack. The longer the combo, the more powerful the heavy attack. Use heavy attacks against large groups of enemies. I'm up to my elbows in these wretched bonds. Any word from Brother Darius or the commander? 
Press L1 to parry. Okay. Oh, that was cool. Oh, wait. Right, let's try and get a parry in. Love it. Press L1 on enemy attack. Did I not do that? I thought. It's a little bit um, less obvious when they're about when the parry slot is compared to, say, like Batman, the Arkham series. But I'll get used to it. What on earth was that? Now they send larger me to stop me. Oh, it's a Tyranid Warrior. Oh, this is going to be cool. And is that a Spur Assist? Right, let's one on one this Tyranid Warrior with a Lash Whip and Bone Sword. Press X to dodge attacks. Press R3 to lock camera on the enemy. Okay. I'm just trying to, um, trying to get to grips with the parry. While an enemy is in passe, press R3 to form a finisher. Okay, that's fine. I need, I need to get better at the, the parry mechanic, but I haven't played a game like this in years, so. I will get there. It is very, um, it's very intuitive. It does feel very intuitive. I just need to um, get back into the grips of exactly when the timing is. But it's good. So far, so good. Okay, the crash craft. Okay, we're still doing that. Can't go that way. Yes, we're getting this way. Chimera. That is a Chimera. Wait, is there a dead... Wait, where is he? Oh yeah, there he is. Okay. This bolter will roar in your name, Darius. I swear on it. Come for me. That's cool. I spit picking these rotten silos out of my fangs for weeks. Situation here at the launch is becoming severe. Have you secured the virus bomb? No. For every gaunt I slash, ten more come raining down. If we fail to launch that bomb, there will be nothing to stop the tyrannies. I am almost at the crash site. Just make sure the launcher is still standing when I get there. I will hold the line for as long as I can.
Weaken the enemy, press R1 to knock back small enemies, press R2 to perform a gun strike. Okay. I don't understand. Oh, hold our one. I get it. Kind of hard to do when there's... Kind of hard to do when there's a load of them around, to be honest. I'm going to get back. Oh, no, I'm not going to bother. There's more ammo here. Wait, I need to do one more of these gun strikes. I'm assuming I can't get up there. I was just trying to see if there was a way up to get a better... I'm assuming I can't climb a ladder. I'm probably a bit too heavy for that. There we go. Um, Manticore? Manticore, I think. Retrieve the virus bomb. Okay. Okay, so I got the virus. Helstros, if you can hear me, I have the virus bomb. Head into the orbital launcher. Is that as hard as you might see us? Come on! I hear something that sounds pretty big. Well, that sucks. Not go unpunished. Okay.
Bloody hell. It is brutal. And I love it. Frame rate dips a little bit there, down to like 50 something. But. We survived. What on earth was that? Right. Guard break. Hold one. Hold R1 to break enemies' blocks with heavy attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep forgetting that you can't block those. The combat's really good. I just need to get better and more used to it. But like as a as a style of combat, it's really fluid, really intuitive, really good. Uh, I just need to get more used to it. But it's definitely you feel powerful enough whilst it's still being relatively challenging. Which I mean, I guess against a Tyranid warrior kind of makes sense. Like I've got no problem with having like a bit of difficulty against a Tyranid warrior. Poor guardsman. Go on. Is that a bug? You have served your emperor well, brother. Record log. To any imperial unit that recovers this log, my kill team crash landed off course. My brothers are all dead. Slain by tyrannids. This is such a drippy look. Virus bomb. Moving to the orbital launcher. We'll fire into stratosphere where it will disperse over tyrannid positions. Such a good look. He almost looks like a um, guardian of the covenant. Obviously he's not, but... I always find it really difficult to aim with a controller. I'm much more of a mouse and keyboard player. Hold L2 and toggle R3. Oh yeah, no. That's cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know it's more of a melee game, but... That's still cool. I am very much looking forward to playing this co-op. I think it's going to be... Can I pick up a missile launcher? No. That's a shame. spread through their forces. They will adapt, but it will slow them down. The virus must be launched into the stratosphere. Nothing else matters. It's true. I have a feeling there's going to be a boss fight in here because this looks like a big open boss arena. Oh! 
I really want to get better at the... Oh, hello. Sorry, that was my controller vibrating on my desk because I just put it down to move my mic. Um, yeah, I definitely need to get better at the, the parry mechanic because I still feel like I'm messing that up way too often. But we're getting there. Uh, so what have we got? Light combos... Stomp, shoulder bash, front kick. While evading, while sprinting, R R1. Open the gates. Shift chronometer reset. You're registered as on duty. Carry out the officer's work according to the divine synchronicity. Let's just have a little look around at the... Oh, is that... I'm trying to have a little, little look around at the uh, the scenery. So we've got dead guardsmen and... Are they... What are they? They look like modified heavy bolters. They're definitely heavy bolter from the back, but I've never seen a heavy bolter with that barrel before. But I'm pretty sure they're heavy bolters. There's a nice chimera with the, the lazare. Another one with a heavy flame up. Very cool. Like it looks, this is easily the best looking 40k game we've ever had. It just, it looks incredible. Right, maybe the boss fight will be after we've done this. Inserting payload. You're damn right we are. Set course for stratospheric detonation. The rite of safeguard must be performed. Seek an authorized Magos at the command console. Locate the orbital launcher's activation console. Okay. Oh, a frag grenade. How do we use a frag grenade? Circle. Okay.
I'm telling you, it's so much easier to aim with a mouse and keyboard than with a bloody controller. So much easier. But we get through. few bugs still in the game. I think maybe there needs to be a patch or two just to fix, you know, any any minor details, but it's 99% pretty good. Machine Spirit, what is the status of the orbital launcher? Hibernation. Console inactive for 22 hours. This impiety to the Omnissiah has been logged. Activate launch systems. The right of initialization must be performed. Seek an authorized makers at the command console. The command console is posted at the edge of the observation platform. A makers will attend to you shortly. Doubtful. <laughs> yeah, very doubtful. This is where there's going to be a boss fight. Guaranteed boss fight. Uh, I don't need any... Oh, actually, what is that? Do I need any grenades, maybe? It does look so good. Alright, don't need... Do we need the ammo? Not really, but we'll take it. Oh crap. This is great. This is awesome. Right, what am I meant to be doing? Survive. Okay, shit. I feel like I didn't do this very well. Did I do it? That's cool. That's very cool. It is done. This guy, man. Oh, shit.
Is he going to be Titus? Yes. I knew it. Keep uh, the, the parry. I'm I'm really struggling. With the timing of the parry. For some reason. No grenades left. This is hurting my frame rate. <laughs> this is definitely hurting my frame rate. <laughs> Hi friend. Why can't I lock on to him? I can't lock on to him for some reason. Saved by the... I don't know who, but saved by someone. To be fair, going out to a Carnifex is, is nothing to be ashamed of really, is it? That was cool. That was a great action scene. It did start to hit my frame rate a little bit though. And my PC temps. But I'm guessing we got rescued by the Ultramarines, question mark? Nice, this is cool. So where are we now? Kalaku's orbit, okay, with a load of battle barges and strike cruisers. Battle barge resilient, okay. I'm assuming that's an Ultramarine one, but I don't know. It's been two days since we fought. Hi, Titus. Ooh, chaplain. Praise the Emperor. He looks so cool. The wound was fatal. You survived only through the Rubicon surgery. We remade you. 
You are not Primaris now. Why? Lord Kalgar issued the command himself. Is he here? Gone. Summoned by the Primarch. I must get back to the Watch Fortress. You have been reassigned. My place is with the Death Watch. The Inquisition can find no stain on you, Titus. Accused of heresy. You have served penance in the Death Watch for almost a century. And not once have you faltered. But you will never know redemption. This chaplain is you have faced the great. of your brothers. Prove yourself to us and no true absolution. I love that chaplain. What is your life? My honor is my life. What is your fate? My duty is my fate. What is your fear? My fear is to fail. What is your reward? I love that. My salvation is my reward. What is your craft? My craft is death. What is your pledge? My pledge is eternal service. That's so cool. What an intro. What an intro to a game. That was fantastic. That was absolutely fantastic. The Rubicon surgery has remade you as a Primaris Marine. You are now stronger, faster, and more resilient. You will take your place as an Ultramarine once more. Your brothers will know that you served in the Death Watch. But your dishonorable status as a black shield has been redacted from the archives. I knew he was a black shield. discovered, there would be questions. Lord Kelgar has offered you a second chance. Do not taint it. <laughs> All right, so we've got a new objective. Report to Captain Akaran. But I think what we might do is end... Oh, nice. We've got Righteous Fury, Data Slate Repository. Oh, cool. So they've got like a whole like lexiconum and codex of like all the details. I assume that will have things like the monsters you fight and um, who's this? Hello, battle brother. Good. Very cool. Hi there, dude. What's up? Uh, I think we're going to leave the episode there because we've done the intro. Uh, so in the next episode, we can actually explore the battle barge as best we can and go report to Captain Akron and then get started on our next mission. But that seems like a good place to end the first episode because we got a load done. Uh, we did the intro and now we are back in our cool blue ultramarine power armor. So yeah, I will leave that there, but we'll pick it up very, very soon and be back with the next episode very shortly indeed as i said there will be a full playthrough of this with no face and no commentary uh, up in the future at some point but if you are enjoying this series where i'm talking and and the webcam is up then do let me know and thank you for for watching please leave a like uh, and let me know if you want to see more also anything i'm missing in terms of how to be better or, or timing of the parry because i feel like i'm still not quite getting to grips with that but so far absolutely loving this really good runs really well just just a really really good fun game and that intro was fantastic so thank you ever so much for watching please do leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next episode very very shortly